Hello guys, today we're taking a look at a new rogue called Smart Guard Protection. This appears to be the successor to the Antivirus Security Pro Rogue that's been around for a few months. Uh, there will probably be a lot of new people watching this video, so if you are looking for the removal portion, feel free to skip ahead. Uh, first I'll be doing a quick demonstration of the fake antivirus itself, so we'll go ahead and run it. Okay, and as you can see, it closed Task Manager for us and started the fake antivirus. It's telling us it's updated, it's doing some scan stuff over here. And the rogue itself has a general page, a quarantine, an updater, log configuration, and a link to some help, which is just an FAQ page. Go ahead and close that. Uh, you have some stuff on the top, which is kind of interesting. You've got the homepage, Sports Center, Security Tips, which just leads back to their website, and f Send File. What does that do? Well, if you click Send File, it actually opens Virus Total, which is pretty strange. Let's go ahead and send the file to them. Let's see, that would be here. Ah, 26 out of 49, no need to rescan it. Go ahead and close that. And as you can see, it is not letting us open very many things. No task manager. How about media player? No. How about paint? Ah, paint, yes. And then that better mean, all right, we got solitaire. Okay, good. Run Solitaire. It also starts a little um, Windows 7 Action Center icon at the bottom of the screen, which opens the payment page, apparently. And they want 99 US dollars. So we'll go ahead and close that for now. Okay, and it has a few languages. And I'm going to be trying two different removal methods for Smart Guard Protection. And the first one is to go into Internet Explorer, go through the uh, alerts that it tries to generate, download Malwarebytes Chameleon, and run Malwarebytes. So let's get started. You're going to want to first open Internet Explorer, or whatever web browser this allows you to run, and try to get to Malwarebytes.org. It will tell you that it's going to harm your computer. Just click Not Recommended. Go down to Other Tools. Download Chameleon. Go ahead and save it to... Eh, we'll go with the desktop. I'll have a direct link to that page, so you won't have to worry about navigating. Go ahead and close that. Go ahead and Extract All. Show the extracted files and try to run the chm file at the top and i know in windows 7 it won't allow you to actually open this page but it's basically the same thing if you just use explorer just go down the list and start running these until you get one that runs so as you can see how about this one yes okay this one stays up press any key it is now downloading malwarebytes for us it is now installing malwarebytes it is updating Malwarebytes, it has created a database, or it has updated the database. It is now trying to kill the smart guard protection process and any other malicious processes that are running. And Malwarebytes has started a quick scan for us. Malwarebytes has finished its quick scan. Go ahead and click OK and show results. As you can see, it has loaded all of these malicious objects onto our computer. Just go ahead and click Remove Selected. Get a log file, you can close that. And it will ask you to reboot. We're not going to be doing that right now. And let's check out the second way to remove Smart Guard Protection. Okay, and now we are waiting for Smart Guard Protection to start running again. 
as you can see it's created a batch file to actually do all of those not so great things to our computer so now we have smart guard protection running and now we can demonstrate the second way to remove this now this would be used if you could not actually connect to Malwarebytes or download it because Smart Guard Protection is blocking you from that. I uh, don't really like using this method because sometimes it doesn't work, but just remember that this will not remove the thing by itself, it will not clean out any infections, it will just help you download Malwarebytes. So what we're going to be doing is inputting a um, registration key as if we actually bought this fake antivirus. So we'll just go ahead and stop the scan, we'll go to buy full edition, then we'll say that we have an activation key, and the key is in the description, so see if we can get numlock going and type this, it is AA39754E-21655 AA8FF3 click OK and now it says activation key at the bottom and we can just stop the scan go ahead and close out of the program it'll let you do that now and we can just connect to malwarebytes.org go ahead and just download the free version that's IE giving me some kind of issue Go ahead and save it to the desktop. So now we have the Malwarebytes setup safe. Let's go ahead and run it. Next, accept the agreement. Go ahead and uncheck free trial and click finish. So Malwarebytes is done updating. Go ahead and just run a quick scan. Malwarebytes has completed its scan. We'll go ahead and click OK, show results and remove selected. Go ahead and close that and it will ask you to reboot. You'll click yes at this point. And that will wrap it up for Smart Guard Protection. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. If this video helped you at all, please check out the links in the description. Take care.